Nestled in the cool foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina, Conestee Falls is a planned residential community, ecologically designed to preserve the natural environment for an uncrowded, unpolluted, and unhurried way of life. The centerpiece of the community is a 6,000-yard par 72 golf course designed by George Cobb. Rich with deer and other wildlife, this 150-acre mountain course features spectacular scenery and challenging play year-round. This spacious golf course was built in the 1970s and is unique to most in that only two of its holes lie side by side, while all other holes are completely surrounded by natural woods. That's why trees and tree care are an important part of Superintendent Joey Galloway's management program. The community was basically carved you know, out of a wilderness, and uh, so it's important to the residents and, and to the staff uh, that we manage our trees uh, just like we would our roads or, or the turf on the golf course or any, anything else. Hemlock trees are especially critical to this mountainous region. Hemlocks are the only trees that are nearly 100% shade tolerant and will grow in valleys and coves where other trees cannot. Our golf course is situated in a very special ecosystem here in western North Carolina. And although we manage the golf course for turf for the golfers, uh, the trees play an important role in not only the aesthetics of the, of the golf course, but the playability of the golf course. They also play a very important role for our environment on and around the golf course in that uh, they help you know, keep the winds down, they help uh, maintain stream bank stabilization, uh, water temperatures. About three years ago, the insect hemlock woolly adelgid was found on several hemlock trees, evident by white woolly masses. Each woolly mass houses anywhere from 30 to 500 adelgid eggs that hatch and feed on the needles, defoliating and eventually killing the tree. Adelgids have two life cycles per year, which makes them additionally difficult to control. Joey's wife, Leticia, helped out and began to take care of the hemlocks, at first using soil drenches and sprays to treat small trees far from water. However, the pest soon spread to trees along the streams and ponds, where drenches and sprays can't be used because of contamination risks. Joey and Leticia looked into different application methods, but didn't find anything they really liked until Mojé. We, we chose Mojé because of the, uh, I guess one thing, a big factor was the reputation of the company. Uh, when I had, uh, we looked into it on, over the internet and talking to other uh, tree care providers, uh, Mojé had been around a long time. And Mojé being a completely hermetically sealed system, we could actually treat trees that were growing up out of a waterway because the, with the Mojé system, the uh, systemic insecticide is injected directly into the tree. Uh, it's translated throughout the uh, tree's vascular system and it stays in the tree. Uh, so there's never any uh, insecticide that can get into the waterway. Being able to apply to trees near water was especially important since waterways run throughout the course and Transylvania County, which is known for having the most waterfalls in the state. To treat for the hemlock woolly adelgid, Leticia used Mojé imicide containing the insecticide imidacloprid, which provided a larger window of time for treatment and longer residual. The one thing about the Mojé uh, imicide is the longevity of the active ingredient, the imidacloprid, in the tree. Uh, was much greater than anything else, any other competitor's product that we looked at. And the emicide we could treat with annually and know that there was material translocated throughout that tree's vascular system for that period of time. Joey considers the Mojé microinfusion method more user-friendly than other methods, being easy to apply with tools you typically have on hand. The applicator simply measures the tree trunk to determine the amount of capsules to use, drills a small hole, and inserts the capsules. The tree takes up the chemical through its own natural transpiration process. Like with using any new product for the first time, Joey and Leticia had a few concerns. Initially, they were worried about drilling holes into the trunk, but soon learned it did no harm to the tree. 
Also, some people in the community were skeptical. But once Joey and Leticia proved its effectiveness, word of mouth spread. Joey and Leticia have been very satisfied with the results, seeing about 12 to 14 months control with imicide. The traded trees are very healthy. Uh, the, the untreated trees, we're starting to see a lot of needle drop from them. <clears throat> and as the adelgids continue to feed on untreated trees, they'll eventually defoliate the tree. And the tree subsequently dies <coughs> from starvation uh, because it can't feed itself without any foliage. Now, the Conestee community actively participates in the tree care effort. Working together with the staff, members routinely volunteer to hike the trails and identify trees that need to be treated. Our community here is very environmentally conscious and uh, they're well aware that most of the streams that leave the golf course uh, wind up in our lakes which are stocked for fishing uh, with various types of game fish. And if we were to lose the hemlocks, we would have a lot of erosion problems into the lakes, along the streams, water temperatures would rise. Since hemlocks like cool, moist places and usually grow near water, Joey is convinced that Moje is the most environmentally responsible method to combat the adelgid problem. Leticia is now known as the hemlock doc in the area and president of her own pest management business, taking care of trees throughout western North Carolina and upstate South Carolina. She also uses several other Moje products at Conestee Falls, including Injecticide B for Southern Pine Beetle, Abicide for Spruce Spider Mite, and Stemix for fertilizing weakened trees. Joey feels that Moje Tree Care is a justified addition to his maintenance practices. The club members agree that Moje products are high quality, ecologically sound, and worth the investment. They understand that in order to save these trees to help stabilize our stream banks and keep our waters cool for our fishing lakes, that the trees can only be saved by one method, and that's the Moje method. Joey believes strongly in working in harmony with the environment and participates in the Audubon Cooperative Sanctuary Program to help improve wildlife habitats on his course. The Moje method uh, is the safest method that we have been able to find in all our research uh, to take care of these trees and get the job done.